Hey everyone, in today's quick Photoshop video, I'm gonna show you two different ways for adding a vignette to your image in Photoshop. It's actually very straightforward with these two options. The very first thing I like to do is, I just have my image open here in Photoshop, and I typically like to come to Filter and convert this to a smart filter. This way, I'm doing non-destructive editing to my image. So, I recommend you do the same here. And basically what ends up happening is you'll get this little icon here. So all the filters are going to be added in a non-destructive way. Then I like to come over to filter and the very easy option is camera raw filter. There's a filter in here for vignettes. So if you look over here, there's this option. It says vignetting. If you go to the right, you get this nice white vignette here up to 100 and if you take this this way you get this dark black vignette and then you could be anywhere from 0 to 100 as much as you like and then you could press OK if you're happy with the results and you get a vignette and you see it's added as a smart filter that I could easily turn on and off. So that's a fast way but it is limited so I'll show you another way here let me go ahead and undo that and the other option is I still convert to a smart filter because this other one is a filter too but it's under lens correction choose lens correction here and with lens correction under custom there's a custom tab here next to auto correction because we don't want to actually correct anything we want to add vignette and you'll see this vignette option here and again if you go this way it's going to add a white vignette and if you go left it's going to darken it so this way it's getting closer to black but what's nice about this one is you could change the midpoint. So if you go this way, you could see I'm getting a much broader vignette. And if I go this way, I'm getting a narrower one. So let me take it all the way to black and I'll take it somewhere over here. And then you could go ahead and press OK. So this is not identical to the other one. And you do have that midpoint setting. So I typically try both and see which one works best for my image. But those are the two easiest and fastest ways to adding a vignette to any image in Photoshop. I hope you found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.